This is too much. He left me everything? This is very extra. Disclaimer, this video is parody and for comedic purpose, it should not be taken seriously. Thank you. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna to talk about fragrances I would wear to my ex's funeral. Of course, just a disclaimer, all of my exes are good people. This video is not pointed at anyone in particular. It's just for fun. So don't come for me and enjoy. The first fragrance I might wear is Dior's Pure Poison. Let's not read into the name. This is a sinful white floral. So heady, so pure, yet a bit cold. There's no real warmth in this one, which is a bit reminiscent of your relationship with him. It's a pure white floral scent that resemble the mountains of flowers surrounding his casket. Though you didn't bring anything, your presence was enough and probably more than he deserved. And he would probably agree. Next is Karma by Lush. Again, not reading into the name. This smells like something that would be burned in honor of the dearly departed. It's spicy, yet citrusy. It gives me hippie, but also church. It's got a loud patchouli, but a one with nature, accepting the inevitability of death and coming to peace with that. Next is Kaeli's Elixir 11, a very strong rose and patchouli blend. This one's a bit sweeter with that apple at the top. It's a very strong, badass presence, a force to be reckoned with. It's giving, it didn't work out with him because you knew what you wanted and he wasn't on board. You will definitely be having his family say that you were the best he ever had. Next is Anna Shui. This is a powdery goth vibe. A very lovely iris, orris root. It's got like a dusty floral vibe. There's a little bit of plastic in there, but that's okay because your attitude here today is a bit fake, so it fits. Calvin Klein's Euphoria. Spicy and warm, sensual and elegant, but kind of a bitchy don't talk to me attitude. You're here out of respect, don't get me wrong, but you've become tough as nails because he made you that way. And that's the energy you're giving off with this scent. Do we thank him for that? Something to ponder. Armoff Club de Nuit Intense Woman. This is another beautiful blend of patchouli and rose. Can you tell I really feel like patchouli is fitting for this kind of setting? It's got almost a waxy candle scent beneath it. It's deep and as it dries down, that waxiness really comes through and really softens and mellows it out. I think it's a beautiful, moody fragrance, perfect for a funeral for someone who you once loved. Coco Noir by Chanel. This is spicy, powdery. There's a woodiness in the base that grounds it, brings you back to reality. There is a brightness that gives you hope, maybe signaling a new beginning. Perhaps you believe in reincarnation or you just see this as you can finally move on. The clove is very noticeable in this one. Also, you really gotta love clove. Aaron's Ambrette de Noir. Sweet and soft. It's a incense and tonka bean duo that I think perfectly suits this solemn day. It's not too sweet, but it's not too dark. The orange blossom keeps it a bit lighthearted. There's also a clean vibe I get from it. The ambroxan gives it kind of a skin-like touch. So if you're worried about coming across too loud and offending people with your fragrance, then this might be a good one. And last one I have for now is Black Lotus by Floral Street. This is another deep but smoky, moody rose and leather. Definitely not for the faint of heart. I think it really exudes confidence and really takes the right attitude to pull this one off. I'm thinking black, smudgy, smoky eye, dark red lipstick, a black lace choker, and a I don't give a heck attitude. That is all that I have for this list. Now, if you'll excuse me, my eulogy is next. Thank you guys for watching. On a serious note, as far as wearing fragrances to funerals, listen, it's really up to you, but I do caution you with wearing a scent that you really like to an event such as a funeral or memorial. You don't want to be wearing your favorite scent, link it with a really sad memory for you, and then be unable to wear it ever again. There are instances where maybe wearing a scent helps you connect with the person who's passed, and that's definitely something that I've seen. I think for me, it would be really hard to wear a scent to a funeral 
and then be able to wear it again after that and just not think of that memory. That's just me personally. Obviously, fragrance is for you, first and foremost. Whatever helps you grieve and get through that time, you do that. <gasps> he left me his house. <gasps> what do you mean he always loved me and he left everything in my name? <gasps> oh, this is stupid. 